Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are at. In this edition, I check out my uh, expenses for 2023 RVing uh, in my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S 2022 edition. I took four uh, camping trips uh, this year. Uh, one was to Lake Mineral Wells, a very nice park. I had to split up the days, like two days here and three days there. Added up to 170 bucks. And the Meridian State Park I went twice, once in the spring. And then I came back in the fall just recently. Uh, one was 84 bucks and then the other one was 112 bucks. And in the middle, in the heat of the summer, 100 plus degrees, muy caliente, was $90 for uh, Lake Whitney State Park. All these parks are about an hour, an hour and a half, maximum hour, 45 minutes away from my house. The mileage there, 100, 130, 115, 130 are rounded up a little bit, maybe down a little bit, who knows, uh, but they are round trip. What do you think of these expenses? Uh, I think uh, for my uh, RV and my truck, it was, a, it, was a, it was a nice break, a nice respite from my rudimentary uh, Fort Worth existence. So I went camping for 18 days for 456 bucks. My mileage on my uh, 2016 Chevy Colorado pickup V6. You know, it was 475 miles at $3 a gallon. Right now it's about $2.44 and sometimes in the summer it was like $3.25 or something like that. But here in Texas, gas is pretty cheap. And that was at 10 miles per gallon. That's what typically I get uh, going on flat ground is 10 miles per gallon so that added up to 142 dollars and 50 cents very nice and then i had covered rv storage is a rather large expense at 125 dollars for 10 months and then i decided hey they're going to raise it to 150 bucks i better find something else so i went to another place and i got uh, uncovered site for two months uh, november and december for 40 dollars and that's 1330 dollars for rv parking storage and of course i repaired my kitchen drawers estimated cost it's a rough estimate it's about 50 bucks so my 2023 basic camping expenses equal a grand total of 1978 dollars total that does not include food my microwavable food my coffee my beverages going to restaurants fishing equipment fishing supplies etc etc where my wife and I differentiate, bifurcate, uh, we have different opinions. I like to do pour overs while my wife likes to do French press. Of course, in the morning when I make coffee, I make it uh, my way, not her way. And she doesn't get totally mad. Uh, she seems to uh, enjoy uh, the service. So there I am making some coffee. And uh, of course, another thing I, uh, different between my wife and I, she likes hers black. And I like mine with some uh, hazelnut creamer. Very nice. So that's an expense right there, that kettle and the coffee. And of course, I bought a bike rack. It costs about 150 bucks. That bike I bought in San Francisco back in the mid 90s. That's, that's an old bike. So there I am at one of my RV campsites. Uh, I've enjoyed some tremendous campsites here in the state of Texas. Of course, they don't compare with the ones uh, near Lake Tahoe along the coast in California and in Colorado. This is Lake Whitney, a very nice park. Uh, they just had a storm. A lot of the limbs were sheared off the trees. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And your comments and suggestions are always appreciated on RV and Travel Adventures. Support my adventures by going to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash jmmgarza. If you want to check out some of my photos uh, on my adventures, check out rvta.myportfolio.com. And finally, join our RVTA Facebook community at facebook.com slash groups slash. Uh, you got to stop the video to see what success there. 
So again, I'm at Lake Whitney State Park. I really enjoyed the flowers. It was in the middle of a, uh, you know, summer and it was quite hot. Don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications. This has been Jesus Manuel Menagares. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Again, the major expense for me in 2023 uh, was uh, storage. In all probability in 2025, when my wife do some full timing, it'll be uh, fees, gas, and stuff like that. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.